Good morning. It is very early. I think it's half past three now. I've packed up all my stuff and I'm ready to go towards the airport back at home. <laughs> um, yeah, I don't, I mean, this is not the, the vlog like you've seen so far here on the channel. I've uh, always tried to kind of keep it um, aircraft model related, but given that we don't have any aircraft models around us here, it's a bit different. Um, I will still try to keep it more model related in the future, but I just felt like doing a vlog here in, in Cluj. So yeah, you just, I mean, if you like it, you like it. If you don't, then you don't. But uh, yeah, now you know. Anyways, it's time to head out. Um, there should hopefully be a driver waiting down in the lobby for me to bring me to the airport. And um, yeah, I'll also try to do a trip report of this if possible. Um, and if I was successful with it, then you will be able to see the result of that on my real life aviation channel, Bong Planes Does Aviation. <sighs> well, let's get going. I've arrived in Munich and I have a few hours until my flight to Copenhagen from where and then we'll be taking a train so uh, yeah still a few steps ahead before we get home but who knows maybe I find something interesting here at the airport maybe I can find an aircraft model after all <laughs> to put into this vlog but uh, let's see in Copenhagen now to my least favorite part of this journey I have to take the train for three hours to get back home all right so on board the train I have one stop on this ride and then I'll be home good morning So it's been a, a week, maybe a week and a half since I returned from my trip to Romania and now I'm here in Billund doing a bit of plane spotting. It's been quite some time since I've been here last. I actually don't really remember. I think maybe last year, September, October, maybe November. So yeah, quite a few months. Let's see what what traffic awaits us today. I don't think it's massively exciting, but uh, we just had a Sun Express with a special livery, so that's quite quite nice. Um, but yeah, let's see what the day brings. So it's obviously been a while since I've last had some spotting content here on the channel. Um, most of you probably know it uh, that I'm still doing this kind of content, but I'm posting it on my second channel, my real life aviation channel, Bongo Planes Does Aviation. So if you're missing spotting videos here on the channel, then head over there because there you'll find plenty of them from all around the world. Um, but yeah, today we are doing a bit of plane spotting here in Billund. Um, I've got a few hours, and then I think I will head home. It is Easter after all. I haven't got massively a lot of things planned. Um, although some spring cleaning would be in order in the Bongo Plains headquarters before I really can start looking at some of the airport update projects that I have in mind. 
I've kind of messed up a little bit because in order to, I mean, I kind of have some days off right now. So I could have like worked on building some terminal buildings and stuff like that for some of the new projects. Um, but I didn't order materials for that. And now of course shops are closed and the stuff that I would order online now wouldn't arrive before after Easter. But um, there's still plenty of other things I can take a look at. Um, and uh, yeah, but first some spring cleaning in the headquarters. Um, but once that's done, I think, yeah, I will try to look into getting some work done on the actual airport setups. I actually have a bit of a dilemma right now because actually I could start off recording airport updates right away with my Philadelphia setup. But I, apart from having announced the intention of wanting to extend um, the Philadelphia setup, um, I, as I mentioned, wouldn't really be able to build that right now. So I kind of would have to wait so the, the dilemma is really, should I just make airport updates with the setup I have right now, or should I wait to include the new parts? Um, I can't really make up my mind. Uh, so, well, if you have any thoughts on that, let me know in the comment section below. I really do appreciate any input that you guys have, what you want to see. Should we just start with the old Philadelphia setup and then when I have time to build the extension at that at a later time or should we wait for the extension to be added from the beginning but yeah right now waiting on planes let's see what goes out next why has HEPA never made this as a model I mean I know we did get the ATR but it, it just looks so lovely, the CRJ900 with this livery. So Hapa, if you're listening, you're probably not, but if you're listening, make this in scale 500. I think we're done spotting for today. It starts raining and uh, anyways, I think I've, I've got most of the traffic that I wanted to get today anyways. Mostly built on specific traffic, but um, yeah, a bit lucky with the Sun Express and the special livery. So now I think I'll head home, try to look at the recordings of today. I also have some uh, trip reports. One I've already uh, recorded and I have edited it. It's actually already uploaded to the channel so I just need to decide when I want to publish it. And then I have a second trip report coming up which I have recorded. I've started edited it but I haven't finished it and I think I will do that today. And then I also need to figure out when I want to release that. Oh one more thing actually that's really important. I really really do hope for your feedback. Um, now the last couple of uh, behind the scenes vlogs have been a little bit more, you know, maybe slow. Um, but if I am to start working on airport updates uh, in the near future, um, is that something you want to see as behind the scenes vlogs like ongoing or should we wait? Should I record the stuff? I could maybe do some tutorial videos out of it, but should we wait with that to a bit later in the year when I have actually started maybe editing some of these airport updates and then kind of release it together with that? Or do you just want to see it now? Because it could perhaps potentially contain some spoilers. Um, 
I don't know yet because I haven't made it yet, but um, let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. If um, behind the scenes of making these AirPod updates is something you want to see right away, or if we should wait a little bit so that it kind of doesn't spoil anything ahead. Um, yeah, let me know that. In any case, I'm always happy if you leave a like, that does help out the channel. And of course, don't forget to hit subscribe. With that, thanks so much for watching. See you in another one. I'm checking out and bye.